Czech air defense system Victor MR2 in service in Ukraine, it showed effectiveness against drones. Recently, the Minister of Defense of Ukraine, Rustem Umerov, and his German colleague Boris Pistorius visited the Ukrainian Armed Forces training ground, observing training on the use of the Victor MR2 air defense system. This system has shown high effectiveness against UAVs used by Russia, including drones Shahed, thanks to the ability to quickly deploy and move, noted the Ukrainian military. The Victor MR2 is based on the ZPU-2 a Soviet-era double-barreled anti-aircraft gun based on the 14 5 times 114mm KPV machine gun which entered service with the USSR in 1949 and has since been adopted by more than 50 countries. There are several modifications of the system. The four-barrel version ZPU-4 and the single-barrel ZPU-1. The Victor MR2, manufactured by the Czech company Excalibur, is equipped with day and night sights. 300 rounds of ammunition are ready for firing, another 300 are placed in spare magazines mounted directly on the carriage. Additional ammunition can be carried in boxes in the vehicle's cabin along with spare barrels for quick replacement in case of overheating. Deliveries of Victor MR2 to Ukraine were organized by Czech volunteers who collected donations in the amount of 3,075 million euros, which was enough to purchase 15 systems. Showcased at the IDET 2023 Defense Exhibition, the system is mounted on a Toyota Land Cruiser 70, a vehicle commonly used to mount anti-aircraft guns, including heavy ones, because of its robust construction, off-road capabilities and reliability. Its durable chassis can handle the weight and recoil of heavy weaponry, making it a suitable platform for mobile air defense systems. The Land Cruiser's ability to traverse difficult terrains ensures it can be deployed quickly and effectively in various environments. Additionally, its global availability and ease of maintenance enhance its suitability for military use, providing a practical and cost-effective solution for mounting anti-aircraft guns like the Victor MR2. North of Israel in flames after new Hezbollah attacks. Israel itself claims that tens of square kilometers were engulfed in fire as a result of shelling carried out by the Hezbollah group from Lebanese territory. A state of emergency has been declared in northern Israel. After Hezbollah launched a series of rocket barges and explosive drones into northern Israel, massive fires erupted across the region, with firefighting teams struggling to contain the blazes. Hot and dry weather have made the flames harder to contain. Many Israelis who live in towns near the Lebanon border evacuated months ago given the escalating fighting between Israel and Hezbollah. Some houses caught fire, local media reported. The Israeli military sent equipment and soldiers to help contain the flames, which spread quickly due to hot and dry weather, and six military reservists were lightly injured. The forces gained control over the locations of fire, and at this stage, no human life is at risk, the military said. Lebanon's Hezbollah said it had launched a squadron of drones towards the headquarters of the Israeli military's Galilee formation in an intensification of cross-border violence between the two adversaries. While Hezbollah has previously launched drones at Israel during hostilities that began in October, it marked the first time the Iran-backed group had announced firing a squadron of them. The hostilities between Hezbollah and Israel have rumbled on in parallel with the war between Israel and the Palestinian militant group Hamas in the Gaza Strip, raising concern about the risk of a bigger conflict across the Israeli-Lebanese border.